Okay, this video is to show you how to go through the first steps uh, for setting up your Gbox Q2 once it's updated to firmware 2.2. So we're basically just going to follow what it says here on the screen. Uh, it says press OK to continue. That's step one. So we're going to click OK on our uh, remote control here. So click OK. Uh, you're going to pick what language. Uh, I'm going to pick English. And display position. So what I'm going to do is press down on the... Uh, and I'm going to keep shrinking it. Now you see how I got that white bar that just appeared? I'm going to push that. I'm going to push up button now and go up until I basically fill the whole screen. I'm thinking right there would be perfect. All right. So on the bottom it says, you know, push up or down on the remote to control the zoom and then press OK to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. All right. So it's also telling us would I like to set up my keyboard. So in my case, I'm going to say yes, because I do have my Logitech K400 Plus plugged in to the box. So we're going to go ahead and uh, set that up. So, so it says plug the keyboard USB into the rear of the G box and then press enter to continue. I already have mine hooked up, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And uh, it's going to check the system for updates, in which case we're going to go ahead and just kind of wait. Uh, finalizing the setup. All right, your Gbox Q is now set up completely. Press any key to continue. Oh, so let's press any key here. All right. So now when you first have it turned on, you got the choice of uh, your Nova Launcher or the Home Portal, or at least on mine anyways. So uh, here's a quick tutorial how to set up the, uh, the Home Portal. Uh, visit settings when you want to use a tutorial again. I'll say, I'll say, okay. So... This will launch your app drawer. So this is all apps down here. When you click right here in the bottom, that's all apps, right? Uh, this icon here is for the Google Play Store. So if you want to go to the Google Play Store, you can do that. Uh, download more games, apps, whatnot. Uh, we have here these little shortcut keys that if we press right here, we can add our favorites to the uh, front screen, all right? And uh, this here is our weather widget. Now, the default location is auto-selected, so it depends on, you know, wh wherever, you know, you're, uh, you're hooked up, your weather should come up. Uh, and uh, then you'll get this here. So some of the things that they changed on this firmware, they removed the standout bar from the firmware. I'm glad about that. Uh, they've uh, updated the Matricom setup wizard for more flair. Uh, also good. Uh, they've updated the home portal, which I'm liking the uh, the changes here that they made to this home portal. Uh, the home launcher can be manually set to other options and uh, a couple minor tweaks to the firmware. So that's it for the change log. Uh, if we'll click OK, from here we are uh, ready to go. So uh, again, we got all apps down here on the bottom. You click right there, it gives you to all apps. All right, you got the Google Play Store again down here. I want to go and search for more apps or more games, whatnot. It's right there. I have my settings right here. So, you know, change weather, app sorting, reset launcher, what's new, all of that good stuff. And uh, if I wanted to do a shortcut, I'd click right here. I'd find uh, something that I want to put down here. So in this instance, we're going to put Cody. All right. And you see that I now have this icon right there. Uh, now, some people are experiencing an issue that their Cody will not open. Now, you can see that mine did open. Uh, however, if yours doesn't, what I'd like you to do is go to another video that we have, uh, which is uh, how to fix the no Cody uh, issue. So I've showed you the, uh, the new home launcher. So now I want to show you the Nova launcher. So here's my Nova launcher. All right. So I like this one a little better, uh, although I am, I'm not going to lie, I do like this new launcher that they had. Uh, this one's pretty easy to use. I have all apps right here. I can grab any uh, app that I want and bring it out here or, you know, remove it from the front. Uh, if you have a box that's programmed by me, you're already going to have 
some shortcut bubbles down here at the bottom. So, um, you know, enjoy that. If, if you didn't get your Bucks program from me, then you can always just add uh, another bubble down here at the bottom and uh, customize it to, you know, how you want it. So that's about it. Those are the, uh, that's how to set up uh, your Gbox Q after the firmware update 2.2. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you find any bugs or anything wrong, please let me know and uh, we will get it uh, to Matricom's attention right away. Remember that we are the number one recommended Matricom reseller. Uh, you can go to their page uh, under contact us and uh, you'll see authorized resellers and right there number one get smart media worldwide uh, thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe